bad sectors, you know? That place in town where you should never go. Ever. Hey, this is a stick up. Give me your Wi Fi password. I told you, never go to such places. But unfortunately, my PC went without my permission. And to make things worse, when it rebooted, uh, I got some bad news. Bad sectors. When I did a uh, check disk, I was presented with um, 368 case of bad sectors. And the uh, Windows Event Viewer was crazy full of errors. I even had strange stutters all over the place. Do you know what I did? You know it, Dr. Google. After some uh, extensive reading and the final diagnosis was, well, my computer had hepatitis and cancer. No, 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 easy. I'm just making a joke about Dr. Google. Come on. But soon enough, I found my answer. A good partition tool like Ome or Macrorit, and the latter being free. It's a lifesaver. So here it is. If you ever uh, get bad sectors on your NVMe, just try this. Let's go. Get Macrorit Partition Expert online. It's not hard. Download the portable version and open it. Now, inside the program, go to your problematic drive, right click on the partition and do a surface test. It's scanned now and wait a moment. You should eventually see some square blocks painted in red if it has some damage. You also may want to do a check disk to confirm it if you haven't already done it. Then head out to the event viewer to see if your system is tripping over this. Done already? Let's try and fix it. Are the bad guys at the start or at the end of the map? Great! In the middle, not so great, but still doable. You need to find where they are, its scan area, and adjust till you identify the bad guys. I needed about 3 gigs in the field that says space before. Now head out to resize move volume option and with your cursor reduce the free of bad guys partition to exclude those 3 gigs. If it's at the start like mine, great. If they are in the middle, you're gonna have to be more handy and split the partition in half. When you are happy with it, Click commit on the taskbar. The computer will now reboot and change your partition. After that, you should be able to select that damaged partition and wipe the volume. The option is on your left under operations. Hit it. Avoid doing a lot of write on your NVMe. That's how SSDs wear off. Just do a simple fill sectors with zero and that's what I did. After that, voila, no bad setters in sight. I was both amazed and relieved. Next, go back to Macrorit and it's time to put that tiny partition back into your main partition. Right mouse button on the main partition and resize volume. Check options carefully. You have to put the unallocated space back into the larger partition. Seriously, read carefully so you won't mess with the operation system partition. Finally, commit the changes and reboot. Lastly, if all fails and your SSD is on its deathbed, you can always use this program and migrate the operating system to a new SSD. It's super simple. I did that from a Radeon R7 to my brand new Corsair Force NVMe. Take note, do this if you're happy and have a stable Windows. If you're running into serious trouble already, 
uh, I believe you might just want to fresh install all over again. But remember, back up your stuff. It wasn't hard, right? It's a bit tricky and it might not work for you, but do try it. Or at least remove the damaged space from the main partition. In the end, if you have logical bad sectors like I did, it's super simple to repair as you saw. Because SSDs normally don't get damaged uh, like the old mechanical HDDs. Do some tests afterwards, like Crystal Mark, just to check if the speed of your NVMe or SSD is up to the job. Or check if the drive is reporting something wrong in Smart. You know what? Let me share my opinion. I've seen some people saying that SSDs are like a ticking bomb. Uh, that's just not true. But don't take my word for it. Look at this one. This is a trustworthy SSD that I bought like in 2015 and it still has 96% uh, of its life. Okay, if you are a full-time heavy content creator, you can see some of its life expectancy drop faster. But, meh. SSDs, it's all about rights. That's what really wear them down. And now a tip for you. Avoid defragmentations, complete formats and extensive safe deletion programs. Are we cool? Now hit subscribe for me, please. I got some more tricks soon, like troubleshooting your XMP profile on your RAM and keep an eye for YouTube shorts that I'm putting out. Come on guys, again, subscribe and share, share a lot. See you next time.